Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So, I think... I don't know, I kind of just want to do some battles right now. Um, but at the same time... I don't want to, because the story's really got me captivated. Huh? So, hopefully this is the last one until we need... we literally need to do battles. This must be it. Of course, the track room's all the way in the back. Oh! Nachan! No way! Yuki-chan? You got tall, Nachan. Your hair's so long, Yuki-chan. I almost didn't recognize you. You're the one who told me to grow it out, remember? That's right. You stopped writing back to me. I was worried, you know. Yeah, sorry. A lot of things happened after the move. But I just got transferred here. Today's my first day. Really? I knew you went to this school, too. Figured I'd find you eventually. It's good to see your face again. Though, I never took you for a track girl. <laughs> oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Aren't you in the middle of practice right now? I've got to get somewhere, too. But now, we can see each other anytime. Totally. Keep working hard, Nachan. You know it. Later. See you tomorrow, Yuki-chan. Yuki-chan, so you're finally here. Don't call me that. I don't like being called by my name. But I just heard... I didn't ask your opinion. Shut up. It's fine if it's her. Uh, you remember me, right? I don't know. Who are you again? Who are you, Lamo? How about the guy you were destined to meet? More like a random guy I bumped into in the shopping district. Don't get all weird about it. Aw, you're so cruel, Yuki-chan. I said quit calling me that. Hey, I'm Iguchi. I've been looking for you. Ugh, Nenji Ogata. The hell? Well, well, well. If it isn't Takamiya of Suzu High, what are you doing on our turf? Not trying to stake a claim, are you? She just transferred here, actually. <laughs> a transfer, huh? You got the wrong uniform on, sweetheart. Oh, look! Th that's... It's just because that damn Four Eyes made a mistake. I mean... Obviously. Don't want to go around wearing those girly skirts anyhow. Mm-hmm. Seems kind of weird if you ask me. A transfer at this time of year? Maybe that's just how it happened for her. Or maybe she's trying to pull some shit. Hey, just lay off already. But why'd she come here of all places? Why here? Well... Found her. Go on, then. I've been waiting for you. You're dismissed. I'd like to speak with her alone. You know, this guy seems to be at the center of a lot of stuff. Yuki Takamiya, 16 years old. A first year at Suzugamine Girls High School. Entered a boys' school and engaged multiple delinquents, 12 of which were sent to the hospital. Your reputation precedes you. You dragged me out of the pen just for this? You're really earning your pay today, aren't you? Well, go on. Rake me over the coals. See if I care. That seems like a waste of time for both of us. Allow me to get to the point. We've taken notice of your particular set of... skills. We'd like to work with you. Seriously? I went to Nigakuri to settle a score, and somehow the cops managed to sniff me out. One of those dicks must have snitched. Any of those Kuri boys end up dead. Three had bone fractures, the others just bruises and scrapes. <laughs> That's too bad. Hmm. Got something to say? They're the ones who laid their filthy hands on my friend. All I did was give them what they had coming. None of your damn business anyways. And by that, you mean selling out my friends? I'm not gonna be your stooge, and I don't work with cops. Go find some other sucker. Your father, Heita Takamiya, currently serving a sentence for the murder of a gang member. Yeah? So what? There have been attempts on his life by other inmates. Not surprising, since the man he killed was a gang leader. I imagine it's a matter of reputation for them. Your father has been assaulted twice, but he is alive. 
for now. Now, if we were so inclined, it would be quite easy to transfer him to a safer facility. Contingent on your cooperation, of course. God, I hate you already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this guy screams scummy. He's behind bars for stabbing a Yakuza. Maybe he's nothing but a two-bit gangster, but he's the only real family I have. On to business, then. Are you familiar with Shikishima Industries? Publicly, they manufacture a wide range of products. Rockets, planes, trains, ships, even home appliances. Not so publicly. It seems they're also developing nuclear weapons. We suspect they are colluding with another nation to do so. And what does that have to do with me? We began investigating and found that several miners are connected to these weapons. All of these children are of high school age and are being rounded up at a school affiliated with Shikishima. Shikishima Industries. So they're using kids to make nuclear weapons? This shit sounds ridiculous. All right, so they're making weapons. But what do these kids have to do with it? I'm glad to see I've piqued your interest. Take a look at those documents on the table. It's a list of their names. Ugh. Class 1B, Iori Fuyusaka. Class 2A, Renya Goto. More Class 1, Kisaragi, Karabe. <laughs> Class 1C, Natsuno Minami. We need someone to investigate these students, and that someone is you, Yuki Takamiya. Not John, but why her? Wait, nuclear weapons? Huh? You bastards got that much dirt on him. Why don't you just bust into Shikishima yourselves? We'd prefer not to have this go public, and the less the police are involved, the better. Wait, if you're not the cops, then who the hell are you guys? We are a special investigations unit, government established and affiliated. Some might call us spies. I am director of the SIU, and your superior. Hmm. Already hate the sound of that. Before we get into the specifics of the job, do you have any questions for me? <sighs> Who's this? Allow me to introduce you. This is Ryoko Shinonome. She is another undercover investigator, and your superior. Just as she did, you'll be transferring to Sakura High School. We'll handle the paperwork. Hey, pump your brakes, you old man. I haven't agreed to any of this shit yet. That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school, but we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. They got dirt on you too, Dopey? Is she the one? Yes, she is. Hey, I'm talking to you! She doesn't look like she knows much. <laughs> I can already tell I'm not gonna like you. <sighs> you have quite the abrasive personality. <laughs> Why, thank you, sir. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons, too? Uh, okay. You have quite the abrasive... We're not finished. Do you accept your assignment? I don't give a shit about your assignment. Well then, I think it's safe to say we're not getting through to her. Don't worry. She will work with us. It's her destiny after all. Hmm. No sign of her today, either. Where are you, Nachan? Oh. What's up, girl? No? Sure. Hey, you! Got a sec? You're in Class 1C, that right? Yes. Natsuno Minami's in your class, isn't she? Oh, yeah. She's been out for three days now. Have you heard anything? 
The teacher just said she was out sick. Did they hear from her directly? I don't know. Hmm. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, do you need something? Oh, no. Never mind. Why not? Yui-chan. Yui-chan. Any news? Yeah, any news as I casually eavesdrop? Don't mind me. Just chilling. No one at the school seems to know anything. Mm, I hope Natsuno-chan's okay. <sighs> what should we do? Stop by Natsuno-chan's house again? Those weird guys might still be there, though. <sighs> hey, you! <sighs> Got a sec? I heard you talking about Natsuno Minami. Who are you? Takamiya, but that's beside the point. I want to know what's going on with Natsuno. Why hasn't she been coming to school? It sounds like she hasn't been at home either. We went to her house yesterday, but her mom just kept apologizing over the intercom. The police were there too. Were they really the police though? <sighs> well, that's worrying. Thanks for letting me know. Usami-chan! Sorry, did I keep you waiting? It's okay. Let's get going. Okay. Uh, you know I can see you, Dopey. What are you doing? Those guys they thought were the police. They're agents with the SIU. In any case, Natsuno Minami isn't your concern. She's a part of my assignment. So stay out of my way. Uh, I don't think so. Are we clear? Hey! Hold on! The fuck? What could have happened to Nachan? I bet that four-eyed bastard has some answers. Time to do what I do best. This is unacceptable. I thought I made it clear that you are not to contact me. I need to know what happened to Natsuno Minami, and I know you have answers. Teenagers run away from home all the time. That's what the police say, but the school insists she's out sick. Looks like nobody can get their story straight. So which is it, huh? I'm not an idiot, you know. Your suspicions are not unfounded, but our investigation is still ongoing. I don't have a clear answer myself. We don't know where she is, or even if she's still alive. The evidence so far points to kidnapping. Who the hell would want to kidnap her? Shikishima? They could have done it without anyone realizing she was gone. There'd be no need to draw such attention to themselves. No. Someone else is behind this. And that's who Shinonome is looking for? <laughs> Someone at the school could be behind this. It's possible they are there even now. In any case, the situation is dangerous. I suggest you keep your nose out of it. Shinonome-kun has this under control. As for you, Takamiya-kun, you will continue to monitor the other students as instructed. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> Screw that. Exactly. Fuck that. Hell no. What are these meta chips? I think that's used for upgrading some, some of the battle units or something. Yeah, I think it is. Team organization. For the next assault, we will form and deploy two squads. One to launch an attack, and one on defense. Jeez, with this few people? What's the point of splitting us up? Yeah, why don't we all just gang up and beat the crap out of them? No, we need to focus on protection. The kaiju are going to try to burrow underground to attack the terminal. If they get that far, then the sentinels won't be enough to stop them. This is the only way we can stop them. We cannot allow even a single one through. If they manage to get past our defense squad, then our battle really will be over. We need to balance our priority between defense and directly neutralizing the invasion force. Fine. My place is in the offensive line. 
You guys just hang back and watch me kick their shit in. Your units will have a hard time dealing with aerial enemies, but we can predict the kinds of dimos we'll be seeing in the oncoming waves. We should probably build our offensive team based on what we know they'll be up against. Okay, and battle the strike team fights on the front lines. Pilots on the defensive squad are positioned directly around the terminal. Okay, that's nice. Um, the invasion ends here. Okay, wait, am I stuck doing this? Okay, fuck it. Guess we're stuck doing this. Sign the 13 pilots onto either the strike team or the defensive team. Well, I don't know what we're going against, so... Um, okay, then. Yeah, I have no idea what we're going against. Someone's gotta do it. Got it. I'll participate. Okay, many ground kaiju will appear. Okay, if there's a lot of ground kaiju, then let's get the big boys. Moving out. Nope, I'll go. Um, Allow me. So let's get this guy. Fine. I'll fight. Melee all rounder. Probably not. Long range. Light support. Multi-lock missiles. Shield matrix would be good. Multi-rocket launcher. Um. Seems good, right? Looks pretty good to me. Customize. Cool. So you can actually customize stuff in this game. That's nice. It's a lot of shit. Uh, um, select pilots with L1 upgrade arms. I see. So that's how you switch between pilots. Rush attack. So we can change where this goes? Sure, let's upgrade it. Whatever. So this is another part of the meta systems? This is a really impressive find. You're telling me these sentinels can be even more powerful? Once I actually get to punch something, that should be enough. Even if there's something we forgot, there's no turning back now. Yeah, let's get going. What? Okay, good. They're gonna let me leave that. Okay, so good. Good. I didn't want to do that. All right. I think just story wise, it's better if we get everybody caught up to the point where they're all actually in mechs. So it's not like immersion breaking. Okay, what to do? Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya san, you are the Holmes, and I am the Watson. Erica Iba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? I met Iba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. 
Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Freaking weirdo. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Ew, wait a second. Smoker? Oh, man. Oh, that's such a turn off. <sighs> the wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away. Contrary to the rumor that's been going around, it seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective, too. So this occurs around the same time that Natsuno is uh, in 1945 with, uh, what's his name? Um, you know, the military guy? Uh, I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. Which should we look into first? Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials. So they're making... Damn. He says there's some spy agency. They may not be, but they're on. Not John. We win our, but we still kept right. She's the only. Per but this chick's actually just gonna follow me around. Did you see that cute handkerchief? The one tied to the fence on the roof? I wonder who it is. Natsuno Minami's still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? Is there anything else you noticed about Natsuno Minami? Hmm. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook, and it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Mm -hmm. Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, weirdo. Was there something else? She was... She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. Was there something else? That's it for now. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Yuri Fuyusaka. And the one next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi... Kisaragi, I think? Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Now you. You've been going to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. So, uh... Yes? Could you be... I mean, the way you're dressed. Are you one of those Sukeban girls? <sighs> oh, are you, like, hiding a razor in your skirt right now? Uh, of course not. This is the first time I've seen one in real life. Oh, wow. Uh, is your friend okay? Okay, to be fair, I was right about Mona. This is Mona. I need more people to interrogate. She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Stay here. 
You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year and captain of the track team. No, no, no. Sorry. Did you need something? I wanted to ask you about Natsuno Minami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions, but I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me, right? <sighs> yep, I thought so too. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh yeah! Maybe it's unrelated. But... A fire? In the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Really? I heard it was arson. What? Hello! Seriously? She keeps that company with all those so they're making what Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? Natsuno Minami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her besides her being absent from school? Well, depends what you define as strange, but Natsuno did stop coming to training, but I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. Ah, the thinker. She said Nachan went into the locker room to get a box and described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. You know anything about the fire in the North Building? No. Yeah, d don't you find it odd? What fire? You on the track team? Yes. Oh, yeah? Okay, nothing more with you. You heard anything about that fire in the North Building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect. I am certain their intentions were not pure. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about this girl. I don't even know what to say. personnel only it's just a damn locker room the fuck what are you gonna what are you gonna sit there all day can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around guess i have no choice i gotta ask for her help yo aiba i want to take a look around the track room but that goody two shoes over there keeps stopping me uh you want me to be a decoy what you don't want to do it Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah, okay. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. Mm. I can see it clearly now. The yes, prime... yes, yes, oh, yes. I act... I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. Oh, thank god that person stopped looking for two seconds. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Nachans. Found it. This must be that notebook. The one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. Hmm. Nachan. Nothing I haven't already looked at. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. Oh, three records? I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being! In summary, whoa, 
aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being. Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? What follows is an investig... These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel. Right in Tokisaka Shrine! Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. What follows is an invest... He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot? Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? Hmm. You heard anything about that? No, I'm, I don't know any. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. The locker room of the athletics building. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. Uh huh. Yeah, you're a little bit of a weird one there, champ. student on the inside so you're not here to supervise me what's the deal then we received new intel confidential information from shikishima was brought here about those weapons cram it will you just ignore me worry about your own mission yeah you don't stick out like a sore thumb hey don't talk to me okay asshole i can see the pro i their intention Well, we got places to be. I think I already asked this, right? Can I help you? No. She was one of them. She's a knit York. And the one next to her, her Tomi. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. That fire in the North Building. Know anything about that? I heard a teacher talking about it. They said it was caused by a delinquent smoking cigarettes. It wasn't you. Was it? Hey, I laid off the cigs after I transferred here, which means I'm not getting my nicotine fix, which means you better watch yourself. A delinquent smoking cigarettes. There's only one of those lame asses here. NG, oh god. Tunnel snakes? Where are you at, bro? Why should you go away? I think it may be ill advised to associate with hoodlums. Hoodlums? Eh? Why are you here? It's a public roof, ain't it? I said, why are you here? Just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet. That handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> So about Notch, I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? Right. So, Nachan, 
You know she's gone missing? Yeah, I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. I heard there was a fire in the North Building. I also heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette-smoking delinquent. You trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on, but it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. <clears throat> the agent on Nachan's case, Shino Nome. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean, she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> Have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. Okay, okay. Take it easy there, tough guy. Built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. I want to take a look for myself. Let's go to that girls' bathroom in the North Building. Certainly. Certainly. I have the personality of a peanut. Holy shit. Are you seeing this? There's no way all this was from a fire. We are not allowed to be in here. Oh, we'll get in so much trouble if they find us. What is wrong with you? It just feels like we're actual detectives now. Not one burn mark in sight. Seems more like a bear went on a rampage. These scratch marks, they're carved pretty deep in there. What? Judging from this level of destruction, I deduce that the perpetrator was someone with an extreme hatred for girls' bathrooms. Uh... I'm gonna stop talking to you. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. Someone's eyeglass frames. They're red. Mona. Probably belong to a girl. Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken. So they won't be wearing them anymore. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Now that I think about it, yeah, I do remember someone, Nachan's friend, in Class 1B, and a name on Four Eyes' list, Tomi Kisaragi. Tomi Kisaragi, I think I saw her in the Class 1 hallway just now. I gotta find her. Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh, wait for me! I'm actually kind of interested now, because it looks like some sort of animal decided to. I don't know what the she fuck went on in there. Around here before. Where could she have gone? She's got to be nearby. Please don't run off like that so suddenly. I can't keep up. Here either. <sighs> hmm. What's wrong? Oh, it's just that I think I think I forgot something. I'm gonna go get it now. Hmm. Hmm. That's not suspicious at all. Hey. Yeah. Are these your glasses? What's this all about? Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine, but you probably noticed I'm wearing mine right now, so obviously they can't be mine. Hmm. 
You went to the girls' bathroom in the North Building, that right? What happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions anyways? I know you were there. Are you talking about what happened in the North Building? I had nothing to do with it. Why would I go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways? <sighs> all right, listen up. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. So you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... Huh? Yeah? I saw her the day of the incident. Usami-chan was in the North Building. What? Miwako, what the hell? But I really did see you there. Snitching, but that's good. I saw Natsuno chan there too. Keep snitching. Wait, what? I feel bad for making them wait for me. I should hurry up and get these to the art room. Oh, Natsuno chan, Miwako. Aren't you supposed to be at training? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Where isn't really the... <sighs> Sorry, Miwako! What was that about? Hmm? Uh, Usami-chan? What happened to your leg? Did you hurt yourself? <sighs> she ignored me? That's not like Usami-chan. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? I've never even seen that place. Seriously, Miwako? But I... What's going on? Yui-chan, so I was saying... But that can't be right. No, it's true. I really did see them. That's the day we were waiting for you outside. And Usami-chan was with me the whole time at the front gate, remember? Uh... That's right. So two Tomi Kisaragis. What the hell's going on? But what about Nachan? I, I mean, how did Natsuno Minami look? Hmm, she was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah. On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl, but she was covered in dust. It was really weird. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered, and I know I've seen her face around here before, but I don't know which year or class. Why not? I need more information. Just getting juicy. So two Tomi Kisaragis. And a girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened in the girls' bathroom? Okay, they had to make that dramatic for whatever reason. What the fuck? It's like some sort of doppelganger. <laughs> well, well. Well, well, Mona. Yeah, it's some sort of doppelganger. I don't know, that's... that's so strange. Hmm. Something to do with the time travel. That's all I have to say. Okay, we'll do uh, Tomi's next time. Uh, simply because of the fact I'm interested. But uh, yeah, we'll call it quits here, guys. Thanks for watching.